Hello and welcome to Stampscaping 101. I have a material here, here called stamp board and what it is is a hardboard panel, um, an archival uh, museum quality uh, acid-free panel with a real smooth um, soft clay coating on it. Now when I say soft I mean it's you know it's it's hard to the touch right here but it's it's a workable surface that you can scratch back into and I'll get to uh, some of that process and how I apply it to uh, stamping here. This material comes in um, various sizes. Some of them are small and they're kind of geared towards the uh, the crafting market and card making and it also comes in some very large panels that um, artists can uh, do oil paintings on and uh, all kinds of uh, different applications. The material takes all kinds of different media and uh, in the world of uh, card making and rubber stamping it, it works perfectly with the um, any kind of dye based pads, uh, alcohol based pads, uh, just about anything that I've tried on there it seems to work. It's a surface that's um, I don't know it's it's been designed to take as many different types of uh, media uh, that's out there. The only thing it's not going to take because it's kind of a smooth uh, surface is are things like uh, things that would require a tooth, shocks, embossing, and whatnot. Okay, now I've gone in here and uh, I've coated it up with a uh, salvia blue and I've just gone over the entire thing. I'm going to do, um, there's all kinds of different ways, uh, approaches you can use with this uh, media. I'm just going to do a quick background uh, color um, uh, scheme of blues on this one. And uh, what I did was I coated the entire board with the lightest color and like I do in the uh, so often on uh, glossy cardstock uh, with the dye based ink technique is I leave um, an area of the surface um, a little bit lighter and in this case it just happens to be right in the center right there. Uh, I've gone in with a light blue and what I usually uh, say is uh, kind of leave you know maybe like a dime sized uh, area in the middle that's just the lighter tone and with this next color uh, the uh, Marvy number three blue which is a really dark blue I'm going in here and I'm going to leave about the uh, a space roughly about um, the size of a maybe a 50 cent piece or a silver dollar maybe so the darker you go the farther off on the edges you stay okay now I'm avoiding getting um, the shape of this like the tips like that if you noticed right down there because what I'm doing is I'm using the side of the or I'm not using the tip of this applicator so I'm dabbing it down you know I'm not going with the tip of it like that so it's kind of at an angle like this all right even if I do get some of those tips though you know when I stamp the scene over the top of it it's not really gonna matter too much but you know just to make it a little bit of a smoother application I'm using that angle okay um, maybe like a 50 cent like silver dollar type of thing okay now on the edges right here I'll put a little bit of a black ink because I'm going to stamp out my imagery in black and I want to use that same value to frame whatever it is I'm going to stamp out uh, as far as that same value goes it kind of ties things all together when you do it that way okay okay so we have this kind of this little glow working here and let's go in with a this is the lakeside cove a smaller version of it okay now when you're working with a small surface like this sometimes it's easier instead of taking this and stamping it over the top and not 
I'm really knowing exactly where this is going. What you can do is you can take a hard panel like this, and I can just move it around on the stamp and decide exactly where I want it to go. Just like you're doing with a stamp on a paper surface, use a good amount of pressure and even pressure. And we have something like that. Now, one of the killer applications of stamp board, going back to what I was talking about before, about it being kind of a workable surface, is that you can go into it, not with a stamp right here, I'm just giving a little bit of foreground right here, and this is the leafless limbs uh, stamp. Um, one of the things about having a soft, workable surface is you can go in with these uh, tools called scratch knives, and it's basically um, a calligraphy nib type of holder right here, and you get these different nibs like this. These are not um, calligraphy nibs. These are scratch knife nibs. They also call them scraper tools. This one happens to be kind of like a, um, a little spoon um, nib. It's kind of like shaped like a spoon, but it's been filed off like that. So you have these edges that are um, a little bit sharper. Now, when I say sharp, I don't I mean it's like knife sharp, but it's just enough to um, scratch um, your surface like this and you can use it at various angles. Uh, this other one that I have right here is more of a straight, sharp point, and you use it just for the point of it like that. Okay, now on a scene like this, um, like I've been doing with my uh, white gel pens and whatnot, you can go back into this and remove ink now on the gel pen. You're adding white ink over the top of a scene, but like something like this. Let me see if I can get zoomed in here. Okay, you can go in with this, and I'm holding this um, kind of at the end of this thing, and I'm doing a little spin like this, okay? Like this, and I can add little stars in the sky. And I'm just doing that little spin. I'm not holding it down here and doing this, you see. It's much easier to hold it up a little bit higher. And this is a real fun process right here. You know, there's something about kind of working in uh, reverse, negative, and uh, having all those little things to start to appear. That's really fun. I've done this scene with the uh, preschool class and uh, the kindergarten class, and they really enjoyed uh, uh, the process here. Okay, could be snow, could be... Um, uh, stars reflecting down the sky, uh, reflecting down the water. Okay. And what I can also do on these rocks is what I'll do is I'll take and I'll use the side of this uh, tool. And right on the top surfaces of them, um, see right here you can see the highlights on there and in some of the other videos I always say you can add some uh, um, additional shadows to the shadowed area down here well it the same is true for the highlights on there you can take your cue from the uh, design itself and what I'm doing is I'm just reintroducing some of those highlights back into it in the darker areas maybe don't take off quite as much you know maybe just take off a little and when you scratch off some of the darker blue over here that we've applied with the darker blue ink, what you're revealing underneath is some of the lighter blue that we've uh, laid down on the uh, the surface. And no, you can't use you know really do this effect on paper. Paper doesn't have a coating that's kind of removable. I don't know. I've done certain effects on glossy cardstock, but, uh, you know, uh, like a colored glossy cardstock, like a 
navy blue, but it's not the same process, okay? Um, anyway, you can see I'm starting to kind of reveal some of the highlights in those rocks right there. And maybe I'll take my sharper tool and right up in these trees, I can uh, kind of pull those out of the background just like I would with uh, if uh, I were using a white gel pen, except on this one I'm just making these little nick cuts into the uh, clay surface and I'm revealing some of the, uh, the white of the board underneath the ink. And you can do some very specific little highlights. So here's, uh, I'm highlighting some of the trees right here in the foreground. And let's see, you can see this right here. You can see uh, little highlights on the trees maybe and uh, highlights in the foreground. If I want a couple twinkly uh, stars, what I usually do is I go with, with one of the uh, little, um, uh, you know, little dot stars that I've made. And from the one of those, I'll take my sharp uh, tool and uh, I'll just do a little cut or scratch going in the different directions and you can have a little sharp one like this okay and there's a little twinkly little star right there okay that's kind of fun I don't know maybe I can try for a this reflection down here as well It takes a little um, getting used to, but I mean, it's it's not that hard. It's kind of, I'm doing a nick cut like this. I put it down on that little hole and I do it like that. I'm not going like this and then releasing up, okay? And it's very thin, it's a very thin line that I'm doing. Okay. So anyways, that's a really fun application of this material here. Um, you know, the uh, subtractive process, I mean, I don't know, very seldom, if any, unless you're doing some kind of like bleaching technique, can you go in to a stamped surface, you know, that you've applied and remove something, you know, there's bleaching techniques or something like that, but uh, I don't know, this is a real fun uh, activity to get into. It's very relaxing, too, when you're going and doing these little highlights here and there. There's something to be said for, uh, I don't know, seeing in reverse, I guess, or something like that, or doing the reverse process. Now, what do you do with something like this? These are great little embellishments for uh, card making. What I like to do on the surface right here, and this is, you know, nice and dry to the touch right here. I like to take uh, something like a spray, a clear spray, and really sealing it off, and it really brings out um, the color saturation in it. It dried kind of flat here because it is clay, but if you spray it, I like going with a real thick polyurethane spray, something that you would spray on furniture, giving it a real thick coating and letting it dry for, you know, overnight. And it feels like a glazed tile and it almost is because this is kind of a clay surface. And then you can put, you know, um, a couple uh, photo stickers on the back and put it down on the same. This edge right here is kind of boring. What I like to do is I like to um, go with a metallic um, pigment ink or something like that. And I like to dab it, you know, not this color right here, but what I do is I just dab it into that color and then you have like a silver or gold uh, edge like that. You can also use different colors on it. You know, it's dark, but it, it just won't be that boring kind of uh, raw wood look. And you can use it, you know, you can frame it off, uh, you know, mat it off for, you know, for a card embellishment. Um, this right here is a uh, sticky 
uh, thin magnetic material. It's, you know, you can put magnetic stripping on the back here and be used for refrigerator magnets. I've done uh, pin backings on here and you can make a nice you know, cool little pin. So there's all kinds of different applications, you know, um, and unlike something like a domino, you know, uh, you know, that people were stamping on something, stamping on a very unconventional stamping service, you know, the stamp board is a service that's been made to accept, you know, a variety of different media, you know, that's its sole purpose, you know, unlike stamping on something that's not meant to be stamped on and having to come up with specialized media, well, this is a, you know, you know, a surface that's, uh, really perfect for um, accepting all kinds of uh, media and uh, embellishing it. You know, um, this right here you can also make into ornaments. Um, one of those cuddle bug cutters, you know, with uh, like a hole punching part of it. Cuts through this thing like, uh, just like it was butter, you know. And you can put a bow on it or whatnot, and, you know, you can have uh, different ornaments and whatnot made out of it. And especially when you have that polyurethane or a real thick coating of some kind of glossy uh, uh, spray on there, it really uh, makes it stand out. So anyways, that's a real basic usage of uh, our application of a uh, stamp board in terms of uh, an application of it in the scenic stamping. These do come in larger sizes. Um, they come in domino sizes, and again, this one happens to be a 2 inch by 2 inch piece. Okay, anyways, scraper tool, scratch knives, 2, two by 2 inch uh, stamp board material, and the glossy card, uh, glossy uh, inks on, uh, on uh, the board instead of paper. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, as always.